Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Destiny. I'm Death from Above. It's Wednesday, which means it is Arms Day. It is January 13th, my little daughter's birthday. I keep calling her my little daughter. She is my daughter, and she's awesome, and she's one today. So it's her first birthday. It's pretty exciting. I have a little party for her tonight and another party in the weekend. So we're going to do Arms Day guns. We're going to do field test weapons, and we're going to do foundry orders guides. So I've got the field test weapons. I've got the foundry orders from last week. So these week's field test weapons, we got the Suros TSB-10 Pulse Rifle. You gotta use it against Vex, you're gonna have to kill 25 Vex with this Pulse Rifle. Which kinda sucks. It's not too bad, but uh, you can get it done pretty quickly. I always got a Venus in the, in the middle section. Uh, there's usually less people and more Vex, so it's not too bad. That guy's really chasing me. You are really chasing me, sir. Have a grenade. So we did one, I think you gotta do 25, yep, 4%, so it's 25. Uh, then we have the Suros TSA-10 Auto Rifle. This one you just have to make precision kills. Uh, same for the Hockey Test A Pulse Rifle. Just got to make precision kills. Uh, and then the other two are Crucible Test Weapons. And they're the same as last week. You have the Fusion Rifle, the Amalon, Amalon Test FR-1. Crucible kills. You got to get 10 Crucible kills or assists. And then the same for the rocket launcher, the Suros TSR-10. I think this one you have to get kills. Uh, so it's, it's Crucible, you gotta get 10 kills with this rocket launcher. So those two should be fun. Uh, go on in there and have fun with that one. Because I know I'm gonna. I only finished it on one of my characters last week, so... Two of my characters are not gonna be able to even repeat that this week. But, enough of that. Let's get to the Foundry orders from last week and my recommendations. So we're gonna start off with the Strongbow D Shotgun. Um... This is one of the ones you could order from last week. Now, I picked up the third option, and there's only one reason, because it has lightweight. Um, all the perks were kind of meh. This is a higher rate of fire, lower impact shotgun. So I figured it'd be good for PvE with Army of One, Battle Runner, and Lightweight. Um, you did not, you did not just, sir. Oh, I'm gonna get him. Oh, I'm gonna get him. So, we're gonna go ahead and fire off this shotgun. Show you the rate of fire. It's a pretty, pretty quick rate of fire for a shotgun. Hi there. Oh, you were doing it. Nice. Uh, next, we have the Tamar D Sniper Rifle. This is a mid-impact, mid-rate of fire. I can't res snipe, but it's going to be really good in PvE. Uh, it comes with surplus, spray and play, explosive rounds, quick draw, and a pinned magazine. I'm going to use quick draw, spray and play, and surplus. This was option number one. Number one and number three this week were exactly the same for the Tamar. Uh, the second one was really stupid, I thought, so I didn't even get it. But uh, it's pretty easy to shoot. Pretty, pretty low recoil kind of like it. It's on PlayStation right now, so it's good that I have a new sniper rifle. I needed a sniper. Uh, I picked the ARC one. I picked the first one just because it was ARC. That was the only reason I picked it. I figured it'd be good for shooting captains in the face on PlayStation. So, next and finally for the ones that I actually picked up last week, we have the Suros PDX 41. Now, I have a really good PDX already, but I, I picked up this one, and I picked up the first option. It comes with Hammer Forged, Oiled frame, spray and play, lightweight, and hand laid stock. I figure I get the range, the reload, and the uh, stability out of this one, so it's really, really good. Um, my other one's got counterbalance, uh, high caliber rounds, and small bore, so it's really good too. Uh, the one from Arms Day will have a little bit more stability, uh, and about the same range, so it's going to be really stable, pretty good. Uh, the recoil pattern is not going to be as uh, as straight, but it'll be easy to use. So here's how. It, how it fires, pretty good shooting gun. I always like the 41. Oh, that's a lot of dudes. And a grenade. Ba Boom! So the two filled or the two foundry orders that I didn't pick up last week were the Suros JLB 42 and the Suros JLB 47 rocket launcher. They are rocket launchers. He sold them the week before, so I got two of the same uh, foundry orders. And I figured I could pass on those this week because I got a good one last week. I've got some good rocket launchers. I don't really need another one. Uh, PlayStation, I've only got one character that can pick up Foundry Orders. So, he's uh, he's full. He'll be full again this week. And uh, we'll do it that way. But, if you want one of those rocket launchers, go with the option that gives you the most velocity and impact. And either has tracking or grenades and horseshoes. If it doesn't have tracking or grenades and horseshoes, I would think about holding on to it until next week. And then seeing if next week you get a different roll. So... That's what I think about those two rocket launchers. I think the 42 has a little bit lower velocity than the 47. But other than that, yep. Uh, that's about all for these this week. Let's go back to the tower and we will take a look at next week's Foundry Orders. I'll give my recommendations 
and we'll talk about it. So I will see you there. All right, guys, we are back in the tower. We're going to take a look at the foundry orders for next week. Give my recommendations, talk about it, and kind of an order I think you should purchase them in. But it's all my opinion. Do what you will. So we're going to start with the Hake Zeranea D auto rifle. It is a uh, mid rate of fire, mid impact auto rifle. On paper, it doesn't look amazing, but once you use it, if you get the right stats and perks, it's um, it's pretty much, I was going to say amazing, but I use amazing a lot, so I'm going to say it's very nice. Then we have the Hake Lyad Mila D pulse rifle. It's a high impact, low rate of fire pulse rifle. It's it's suffered very much from the most recent weapon patch, so it's not as good as it used to be. I used to love this gun, now I don't like it at all. Hake Jingu Kogo D shotgun. This is a high impact, low rate of fire shotgun. I think there's three in the mag. And it's uh it's interesting. Hake away for Rua D sniper rifle. I butchered that name, but it's a sniper rifle. They're both the same for Hake. They're mid impact, mid rate of fire. They can't res snipe, uh, but they are fun to use. And then we have the Amalan Uzum RR4, the good old Uzum. Which one is the Uzum? I always get the Uzum and the other one mixed up, so I have to consult the uh, the whatever to see if it's the high impact version or the low impact version. Come on, let's. Let's get it figured out. We got the Uzum RR4. It is the low impact. This is the fun gun. This is the fun gun sniper. So, if you're going to get one first, definitely go with the Hage Zarin AD auto rifle. It's one of my favorite auto rifles. So, grab that one first. Uh, then maybe the sniper rifle, the Hage sniper rifle. It's kind of it's kind of uh, grab the Zarin AD first and then the other four are up to you. Lie of Mill is probably at the end. But, um,. A shotgun, a sniper, two snipers, a fun sniper, and another fun sniper. These aren't going to be the most amazing snipers. They don't have the highest aim assist, but they are fun. Uh, then the shotgun and the pulse. So, it, pulse last, auto rifle first, and then these three somewhere in the middle, however you choose. So, there are the foundry orders for next week. This has been Arms Day. I'm Death from Above. What did you get? Did you get anything good for Arms Day? Did you have any trouble with the field test weapons? What gun are you looking forward to next week? <clears throat> Let me know in the comments. I'm going to dance it out. You guys have a great day. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you want to see more videos. Let me know you enjoyed what I'm doing. <clears throat> and I'm going to get out of here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you later. See you. Bye.